I found that when God gives you something, it's to help others. And I wish you people here, you rely on us. I wish that. I wish that. Because God has really blessed us so much to bless you. Amen. I don't know if you're hearing that. Amen. I will explain what I'm saying. I don't wish young people to get married without direction. I don't wish something like that. I don't wish someone who's coming in a car. You compare people by their achievements. Someone is coming with a car, driving this car. Oh, oh yeah, this is a good man. Another one who's walking by food is saying, no, this, I don't want to suffer. I believe we are here to guide you people. And we'll never tell you what is not from God. We'll never tell you that. If God has not spoken, oh, wait, let's pray. Let's pray. I'm just saying this because we here in Charis, we are example for you. We are example for you. If you hear me saying this relationship is going nowhere, leave it. If you just hear a person like me say, here yeah, there is no marriage here, take that very serious. I mean, this is something that God has given us to guide you. Last time I also told people, if you want to do business, also, come and sit with us. Come. Say, so, I want to understand which business can I take. If God is not speaking anything, let's leave it. Let's go and pray first. And now we'll come talk about it. Someone will say, ah, you know in Charis, ah, they will give you a man there. No. It's not how we work. No. It's not how we work. We have never given anybody any man. We have never done that. Because even yourself, by yourself, you are failing. Think about the relationship you try by yourself. How many times you fail. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So it's better you rely on God. We, if, if I want to say, hey, brother, marry this woman. I, I'm wrong there. I'm really wrong. But come to me for advice. I will guide you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Yeah. I don't know if you are hearing me. Yeah. Because what I'm going, what I'm seeing happening, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. You find a Christian is in the church. He's having a boyfriend who's a drunkard. It's a shame. On the other side, you are praying, God help me. God help me. With what? How can God help you when you are living a faithful life? It's better you, you withdraw. Are you hearing me? Amen. I'm just giving you this as a deliverance for you. Amen. It's better you withdraw now. You say, let me seek God. You hear me? Amen. If I, I want God and I get this God, me, uh, me, I'm an example. I have my daughter here. Can you stand up? This girl, yeah, when she wants to get married, there was a brother who wanted to marry her. No, let me say many brothers. Because I don't have ugly children. I don't have ugly children. As you, as you know, I'm handsome. <laughs> so, they, they were brothers who were searching for this girl. This girl. 
I became example. Example. God showed me a brother who will marry. She get a brother say, no, it's not the one. She get another brother. I realized, no, oh, it's not the one. Because the one that I saw was torn with rickets. <laughs> I'm sure I understand that. And when I saw this person, God says, can you see this person? This one is the husband of your daughter. I said, hey, you, turn. So he was standing facing there. Turn. When he turned, I was like, ah, my God. And you know what God told me that day? He said, you will see, after marriage, you will be a prophet. And then, is he not prophesying now? You people here, you go by your own will. And we are here as an example. My daughter in law, she's here. What is it? But she went out. She went out here. I was in the US and I heard gunshots. Ta, ta, ta. When I look, I saw in the spirit my son falling down. Voice said, the voice spoke and said, Your son is under attack. Go home and take his food. I came home like today, but the following day I went outside of the house and called him. I was holding new phones like this. He thought I want to give him new phones. I say, ah, where are your phones? He says, oh, they are there in the house. I say, okay, go and take them and run. He bring them. And I said, open your phone, I've opened. I say, you have got an attack. There are ladies who are speaking with you. Say yes. How many? There are five. Remember, I had how many gunshots? Five. I told Terry, God said, you must concentrate. Focus on the things of God. God told me he will send his wife. So I will know your wife when she comes. When we have forgotten, because I told Terry, remove this thing of marriage out of your mind. And you trust God and believe him as he is. We have forgotten. I was seeing people one on one in the church. And then I saw a young lady coming. I heard a voice. Remember I told you about your son's wife. She's the one. So she was coming. I was sitting from here. They are sitting there so that they must not hear what we are talking here. Move there. She was coming. I look at her. She said, yeah. She came and sit here. I asked her, where is your mom? She says, ah, my mom will come tomorrow to church. So, yes. I told her, I won't see you today. I want to see you with your mom. So you can go. It was Saturday. Sunday. I'm trying to tell you how God works. We are just killing ourselves. I'm telling you, we are just killing ourselves. On Sunday, come to church. Already she told the mother. So bring them. They came and sit here in the office. That day I was using mama's office. I don't know what happened that day. Sitting there. There was enough space. Thank God. In mama's office. So they sit here. Call Terry. Jabu, go and call Terry. Come. Receive it there. When God speaks, I don't waste time. The moment when Terry came, I said, Mama, I'm sure you have never heard me talking with you. I don't know you. He says, Yes. No, you are my pastor here. I come to church. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know you. Mama, me and you, we don't talk. I'm calling you for this too. 
Terry, how do you see this girl? <laughs> Terry, look at the girl. And, uh, huh? <laughs> Does he know? Does he know? Uh, this lady is going to be your wife. Tell me. So exchange the numbers. <laughs> I'm telling you, we don't hear God. And we really do the worst. Out of my experience here in Charis, I've seen people who disobey God, they are not happy at all. Yeah. Once you realize this person you want to marry, oh, come to the man of God. Come to the man of God. Test the, the power that is in him. And say, man of God, I found this person. So you don't know. Outside the lady is beautiful. I mean, there's depression, cream, we <laughs> will and you don't understand you are marrying a cream. Tomorrow, <laughs> this is the time that you people here, you are not in the dark. You are not in the dark. You, some people come to me and say, can I start the ministry? I say, mm -mm. don't start. They come to me, I tell them, don't start. Another one says, I want to leave the job. And start them and say, don't leave the job. Mm. But you can start, but don't leave the job. Mm. Or, yeah, okay, leave the job, start. Mm. It, it's so different. Everybody has got his own message. Yeah. You don't know. One day, someone will just say, after you get married, and now he's rich, you say, you know what? I'm a wizard. What are you going to say? Because you don't consult people who hear from God. One day, you just come and stay with the person. You have two children. You realize, ah, I didn't know this person. Oh, the person is having a spirit of lust. He's going everywhere, sleeping everywhere, sleeping everywhere. You bring disease in the house, and you die. It's time now that you check, you ask God, you pray. It's better you go to the scriptures. You read the Bible, you stay in the word, before you take any decision, are you hearing me? Yeah. You, you, you become a Christian. And it's then God will guide you. God bless you. God bless you.